Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rebecca and I'm a stay-at-home mom and an online reseller. And unfortunately my voice sounds rough again because we are sick all over again here at my house, so I apologize. But today is April 23rd, it's a Sunday. I have four sales to pack up that are going to be going out tomorrow. Um, and I was actually out of town last week, so some of that uh, is from like Thursday night. I think I have one from Thursday night and then Friday as well. So we're going to start by just pulling the items. First item is in box M. It's a Croft and Barrow shirt. Box M is in the middle over here. Here it is. Next item does not have a box number because it's a pair of Sorel boots over here on my shoe shelf. It is these ones here. I'm take these out. And we'll put these. Okay. Next is in box J, another Croft and Barrow shirt. Box J is on the top over here. That's this one. And last is box E, an old navy dress. Right on top. And this item's probably towards the bottom. So I'm gonna do the boots last because they're gonna be a little more involved to pack up. But let's see, we have one Poshmark sale. So we'll do that one first because it's the easiest. That is this Old Navy dress. So this is just a dress from Old Navy. I picked it up at a yard sale in my very first summer of reselling back in 2020. And I think I actually bought it for myself and then just decided I didn't want to keep it. I had an average cost of goods of $1.36 into it. And it finally sold on Poshmark for $8. I had brought it all the way down to $10. Someone offered me four. I countered at eight. They countered at six. I countered at eight. They finally accepted eight. So $2.95 in fees. I made a whole whopping $3.69, but it took 1,031 days to sell. So I was happy to move it on and just not lose money on it. So this is just going to go in a tie back mailer. This package is ready to go to its new owner in New Jersey. Next, we're going to do this order, which is actually on Facebook Marketplace, which I have not had in quite a long time. So we're going to do that one next. This is just a shirt from the brand Croft and Barrow. It was given to me for free by a family member, and it sold for $12 in Facebook Marketplace. The fees were 98 cents, so I made $11.02, and it sold in one day. So. I don't know if someone was just looking for that or what the case was, but I was shocked to see that sell in one day. So this is going to be a first class and they're just going to put it in a first class poly mailer. This one's going across the country to California. So our last two sales are both eBay sales. So I'm gonna do the shirt first. 
So this is actually another Croft and Barrow shirt. This one is still new with a Ross tag on it. I bought it for $1 at a thrift store and it sold on eBay for $19.10. That includes the shipping. Fees were $3 and one penny. Uh, we'll see what the shipping comes out to, but it took 19 days to sell. So shipping on this one worked out to be $4.15. So my net profit was $10.94. This was another item that I had bought for Whatnot Show and it just didn't sell there. So I sold it on my own. This one's all ready and it will be heading to South Carolina. So the last item I had to pack up are these Sorrel winter boots. I thought these would sell during the season, but they didn't. I picked them up at um, a small thrift store for $7. And I originally listed them at $50. Someone offered me $40. Um, and I accepted that because I didn't really want to hold on to them till next winter. And they also asked if I would do UPS shipping, which I'm more than willing to do. I usually just have USPS parcel select ground and USPS uh, priority mail as options listed, but I definitely can switch it. It's kind of hard to know which ones are going to be best or what people want the most. So those are just the ones um, I usually have set for my over one pound items. Let me know if you have a better idea of how to like determine that. I know parcel select ground is slower, but for me, a lot of stuff, I would rather it get take longer to get there and save money on the shipping cost. Um, but so I really want to keep that one, but then I never know if I should do UPS or priority mail or whichever. So I'm glad this person reached out because I was easily able to just to change it to um, UPS, which is what they requested. So these took 125 days to sell and we'll see what the shipping cost is um, here in a minute, but they paid $61.91 and the fees were $10.52. So we'll see what the net profit is. Um, but since these are going UPS, I cannot use my priority mailboxes. So I need to find just a regular brown box to put them in. So I had to go into my attic closet and find one. All right, so I found this old Amazon box. They fit in there really well. So I'm just going to put them in um, a clear poly bag first, just to protect them, and then add some extra fill so they don't rattle around in the box. They do rattle around just a little bit in there, but I'm not too worried about it since they're a pair of boots. Nothing's going to happen to them. I just put a couple bubbles on top, but they'll be fine. So let's pack that up and see what the weight and measurements are on this box. Okay, so the shipping cost that they paid was $21.91 and the shipping's only gonna cost me $12.52, which is nice since they asked for $10 off. <laughs> so that brings my net profit to $31.87. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, I won't be able to send this with my other packages tomorrow since it is UPS. Um, I, the other three are going to fit in my mailbox just fine. This one will have to go to a UPS facility, which the only one that's near me is actually only open from like five to 8 PM in the evenings. Um, but, and I won't probably be able to get there tomorrow. By the time you guys see this, it won't matter, but my husband's going to be out of town, um, tomorrow. So it's just going to be me and the kids and I'm not dragging them down to go do that. It's like a 10 minute drive from my house because we live in the middle of nowhere. But my mom is coming up for a little while tomorrow and they have a place in town that they can probably drop it off for me. So it, it might not actually go out till Tuesday depending on what time she gets over there. But 
that will be just fine. So I'm gonna print off this shipping label. So these boots are ready to go to their new home in Dallas, Texas. So I'm assuming this person maybe is going on vacation somewhere. I can't imagine they're going to need snow boots anytime soon down in Texas. Today is April 24th. I have one sale to ship out. It is a Weight Watchers, uh, I think it's like a recipe book, in box eight, which should be uh, down there. Yep, personal points cookbook. So this book I got for free from a family member. It is the Weight Watchers personal points cookbook. Um, I don't think they ever used it. So I listed it as new and it ended up selling on eBay for $12.35. That includes the shipping. Fees were $2.33 and it took 291 days to sell. I listed it originally for $15 and someone offered me I think eight, let me double check. I think it was $8. Yes, they paid $8 plus shipping and it goes uh, media mail since it is a cookbook. Um, I just really wanna keep things moving and I didn't pay anything for this. So I'm happy just to get rid of it even at the $8 mark. So for this book, I am actually gonna just put it in a bubble mailer and um, I'm not even gonna put it in plastic or anything. I think it'll be fine. It didn't sell for a lot. And these are kind of like waxy pages, not straight paper pages. So um, I don't think it'll get wet. These are pretty good mailers, but even if it would, I think it'll still be okay. So we're gonna pack that up and double check the uh, weight and dimensions. <laughs> so this book is like almost exactly two pounds. It's like 0.1 ounce underneath of two pounds. So with the label, I'm sure it'll be exactly two pounds. Um, and like I said, it's medium mail. So shipping is only $4.35. So my net profit is $5.67. And I'm not sure if I said before, but it took 291 days to sell. So it did take a little while. And I think that's just because the market is super saturated, which is also why I was willing to accept a lower offer. Um, because I could have held on to this for a long time by the time all the other people's uh, sold out. So sometimes things like that, just, you know, a lot of people are doing Weight Watchers and selling off their books. Uh, I just want to get rid of it. So this will go out in my mailbox tomorrow and it is going to Tennessee. Today is April 25th. I have one sale going out. It is an American Eagle dress in box J. It's right over here. I love it when it's on top. Nice and easy to get to. So this sale is an American Eagle um, floral skater style dress. This was another whatnot fail item. I picked it up for a dollar at the thrift store thinking it might sell on whatnot and it did not. So I did list it and it sold. It sold over on eBay. I had it listed at $18. Someone offered me $10. I counted at 15 and they accepted. So uh, the sold price with the shipping was $20.85. $20 Fees were $3.67. And it only took 33 days to sell. I typically do not pick up American Eagle unless it is blue denim jeans <laughs> um, or jean shorts. I have found even black denim or whatever has not done well for me. So typically I wouldn't pick up really anything American Eagle except for jeans, but this one um, did sell. I think we're in the right season for it. So let's see what the shipping's gonna be. This is just gonna go in a poly mailer first class since it's eBay. So 
So shipping on this item ended up being $4.44. So my net profit is $11.74. I've been having a lot of these like small profit sales, but they do eventually add up. So this dress will be going to its new home in Las Vegas, Nevada. I think I've only sold maybe one or two other things to Nevada. It's not a state I ship to very often, but that's just gonna go in my mailbox tomorrow morning. Today is April 30th and it's been quite a few days since I packed up any sales because I was out of state for a while. And I only got two sales during all that time. I didn't really get much listing done because I was out of state, so I was kind of busy. Um, but we do have these two sales to pack up. So first one is gonna be in box E, it's a LuLaRoe top. Box E's right here on top. You can see it right there. Our next one is box N, it is a pair of Chico's Blue Capris. And it's gonna be down here. So both of these sales were eBay sales and uh, they came in, like I said, kind of at the beginning of when I left, but I knew that I would be back to still be within my shipping window. And I did message the first person and tell them that it would be, um, you know, if it wasn't okay to wait until Monday to ship it, that they should let me know, but they didn't. So I guess it was okay. So we're gonna do this, um, it's a Minnie Mouse LuLaRoe top. Let me see the mini map. Yeah, they are. Um, so this was another one of those ones I picked up from that yard sale where I got a couple of the plus size LuLaRoe tops. This was a size 2X and I picked it up for just a quarter. It sold, including the shipping price, it sold for $20.36. Fees were $3.09 and it only took 11 days to sell. So we'll see what our net profit is once we have it packaged up. So shipping for this item turned out to be $4.81. So I made a net profit of $12.21. So this shirt is all packed up and ready to go to Virginia. And next up I have this pair of uh, Zenergy by Chico's. They're a bright blue color Capri. And they're size three and a half, which is like Chico sizing. I think that equates to around an 18. I got these for free from a family member, so I have no cost of goods into them. They sold on eBay for $25.65. That included the shipping. Fees were $3.95, and they only took three days to sell. Um, and then we'll see what the shipping comes out to. These are first class, just like the other one. It's gonna go in a different poly mailer because they're a little bit bigger but it's still gonna be a first class package. Shipping for this item was $6.22 and I made a net profit of These are ready to go to their new owner in Tallahassee, Florida. These are the only two packages I have going out tomorrow. They're both fairly small, so they will fit in my mailbox just fine. And that is gonna be all of my what sold for this grouping. So I hope that you enjoyed seeing what sold. Let me know, as always, how your sales are doing. Um, and just let me know, you know, do you always set your stuff on vacation mode? Because I didn't do vacation mode on any of my platforms. I was only gonna be gone on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and I was just kind of hoping that I wouldn't get any uh, anything crazy going on those days, and I didn't, so it worked out. But let me know below, and don't forget to like this video. If you do enjoy these types of videos, comment and subscribe. Come back for more What Sold and other reselling related videos, and follow me over on Instagram at the Cozy Shire so you can see everything else that is going on. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.